to a one and only exclusive and what's becoming a sign of the times local law enforcement being mistreated by angry citizens our Michael Seiden is live now in Margate with this exclusive force tonight Michael you know you know Calvin I've been talking to a lot of police officers in Broward and Miami Dade counties and they tell me ever since that shooting in North Miami they've been getting a ton of heat from the public in fact just a couple nights ago inside this Burger King some officers were disrespected in front of a group of customers. It's not fair. You know, they go out and they risk their lives every day. It's becoming a problem in South Florida. I know it's not personal against me. I know that they're only lashing out against the badge and the uniform that I wear. Police officers walking into restaurants and getting much more than they ordered from the people they're sworn to protect. No, unfortunately, we see it every day. On Tuesday night, Margate police responded to this Burger King after they got reports of a homeless veteran who was looking for help. Now, as officers talked with the man, a BK employee sounded off, telling customers, quote, they are being nice to him because he is white. If he was black, they would have cuffed him and dragged him out. So, do you guys serve police officers? Do you have a problem with police officers being in your restaurant? No. This is just the latest incident involving South Florida law enforcement. Last Friday, a North Miami Beach cop was picking up an order at this burger fi in Aventura when a manager asked her, quote, do you shoot black people? And if I put my license and registration on the window of my car without rolling it down, will you shoot me? The owner of this restaurant told us it was all a big misunderstanding. One week before that run in, a Miramar gas station fired one of its employees after he denied service to a cop. And I did reach out to Burger King's corporate office. So far, my calls haven't been returning. One more interesting thing in that whole burger fi incident in Aventura, the cop actually called up the owner and said, hey, don't fire that employee. Instead, let's have a big meeting between police and your employees and talk about improving our relationship. So you see a lot of cops now being proactive because they do want the public's trust. We are live tonight in Morgan. I'm Michael Seiden, Local 10 News.